Welcome to Out of the Woodwork, I'm Tommy. Thanks for dropping by. I'm gonna show you how to cut out this round table with a very easy router jig, and I've got a free plan available if you wanna build it yourself. The version of this jig that I'm gonna show you is about as simple as it can get. Now I happen to have this great piece of scrap three quarter inch plywood that is just wider and just longer than what I need. So that'll be really easy to cut down. Now I recommend using a plunge router for this. You don't have to, if you have a router that has a fixed base, you can drill a hole in your workpiece to set the router down into to get started. But if you've got a plunge router, you not only skip that step, but as you make a light pass, all you've got to do is set your depth adjustment and you click that over, make a deeper pass, click it over, make a deeper pass and so on. If you've got a fixed router, then you've got to stop and adjust the depth and then cut again. So really you're just saving time with a plunge router. I took the base plate off the router and that's so I can get a good outline and get the right diameter on this end of the jig and to also mark the holes because we're going to attach the router with the factory threaded holes with longer machine screws and come in from the bottom. This end's gonna look like the base plate and then it's gonna taper all the way down to the pivot point. You don't have to do that. It could stay a rectangle like this. It could be more bulky. It could be a different shape. As long as you've got a good pivot point and then your router securely mounted to the other end and then the right distance in between those two. I'm making mine this shape because I want the least amount of material gliding along the workpiece. I want it to be manageable and not cumbersome. Let me get busy tracing this base plate and marking the screw holes and then drawing out the shape for the jig. Now I'm gonna drill out these holes for the machine screws so I can attach the router and make a plunge cut right down the middle and that'll allow me to get a good measurement of the radius that I need for this table. Now on this end, I've got a 5 16 inch dowel, so I need to drill a hole for that. And then I'm gonna remove the router and open up this hole a little bit with a 1 and 3 8 inch Forstner bit. The screws I use for this are number eight machine screws with number eight washers. They're an inch long and I used a half inch Forstner bit to countersink them below the surface of the wood. So that's it for the jig. It's really that simple to make and now we're ready to cut the table out. So I've got the blank face down and from the bottom I need to find what I want the center point of the table to be. And once we find that we'll line the hole up on the jig, drill down so that the dowel will fit in there and be the pivot point as the jig swings around and makes the cut. Now remember I'm going to make several passes so I'm going to start out at a quarter inch depth just to see how that works and then with every pass, we'll lower it down another quarter of an inch until we get the table cut out. One last thing is I'm gonna make sure that I'm able to walk all the way around the table without tripping on anything or anything getting in my way. So I gotta push the table saw out of the way and just to make sure I have a smooth area to walk all the way around the table and push the jig. The last thing I'm going to do is sand the edges to even them up real nice and then take round over bit in the trim router and give it a slight round over on the top and the bottom.
Don't forget to go get the free plan for this jig. The link is down below. If you like videos like these, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.